Get ready for some action. It's the Marquee Dragon Show. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Today's going to be a fun day. So, uh, not only is it my birthday, but uh, I just logged in and saw we got a whole bunch of stuff uh, given to us uh, for uh, Christmas, I assume. It took me an extra minute because I had to figure out all these redeemables. And uh, so, uh, thanks, uh, thanks everybody for the birthday wishes. And um, uh, we're going to have a great day today. I'm giving all of you the presents. <laughs> well, something like that. Okay, so I uh, got a lot of stuff uh, today, which is, um, you know, I've got, um, um, I've got a lot of giveaways that we're going to do. And we'll start those in a minute. Uh, those of you watching this on YouTube, sorry, but um, they're all going out on the live show. And uh, I apologize, but that's the way it is. Um, and so um, for uh, some of these, you're going to use scales. Uh, and uh, some of the stuff, it'll be uh, just be a follower and, um, and enter. So... Um, Anyway, uh, no, I don't have enough stuff to give everybody something. Yeah, that would be pretty awesome. But uh, I am uh, giving away more stuff today than I uh, think I have in, um, in, a, in a very long time. So, okay. And uh, we're going to take out, uh, we're gonna take out this uh, character here a little bit today. He's in a um, fire tail. And incredibly... Um, I made 683,000 loyalty points without dying yesterday and the day before in this fire tail and, um, uh, all in one system. <laughs> it was pretty incredible. I'll, uh, we'll, we'll take it out and see if we can repeat some, some of that success today. But, uh, you know, 683,000, uh, loyalty points, I'm going to convert that into... Um, I'm going to convert that into about 1.3 billion. And, uh, so, uh, that was, that was pretty good. Um, <clears throat> okay, we'll get, um, we'll get, uh, the first of the, um, of, uh, the giveaways going here. And, uh, the first thing I'm going to start is the auction. Uh, believe it or not, the auction is for one of the shipped packages uh, like what I have uh, here over my shoulder here. Um, right back there, one of the shipped boxes that comes with the golden pod, comes with Plex, comes with a new account with 60 days, has, uh, has uh, like more than a billion worth of stuff in it if you were to sell it all on the market. And um, so it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty, uh, pretty good deal. And so uh, opening that now, bidding starts at one. And uh, the, um, we'll conclude that Welcome sometime to the after Dragons. three o'clock today, Eastern time. Uh, it's currently 7 a.m. my time. And uh, so, okay. And um, so that's gonna be pretty cool. Now, uh, with that said, if somebody wins that and you do not live in the United States or in the EU countries, then um, I will exchange it for a premium, um, a, a premium edition if you want that. Um, otherwise, it can be shipped anywhere in the world, but it's going to have uh, customs fees, which may be more than the value of the package worth 150 bucks is what um, they originally retailed for so uh, and and I'm assuming that when it goes out that that's what the value on it is going to say and you might get a uh, nasty customs bill of 150 bucks some customs some countries uh, charge as much as a hundred percent for items so um, you probably all know your own countries better than I do but um, I'm just saying so uh, if you are, uh, so, so I'm going to be asking you whether or not you're in the U.S. or not. And um, so, um, or not in the, just the U.S., but 
whether or not you want it or you want to exchange it. So everybody can bid on that. That is auction and uh, may the highest bidder win. So also uh, today and welcome um, Elder Dragon. Ooh, a sub. So you think you're worthy of being a Marquee Dragon subscriber? Duke isn't so sure of that. Get in line with the other dragons and show me what you're made of. What are you waiting for? Get over there before I open a can of whoop ass. Man, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate the sub. Uh, and in fact, um, now that uh, now that you're a sub, I am adding a thousand points to you. And uh, so everybody who subs gets a thousand scales added to them, and then. Everybody who's here, when a sub happens, gets um, uh, gets uh, some scales as well. So everybody can thank Must Far Far for the additional 10 scales that everybody just got. Uh, if we have combos, like a, um, if we have a um, second subscriber in, when, and it registers as a combo, there's a combo timer, which I don't show on screen. Uh, then everybody gets 20. Third combo, everybody gets 30. Fourth combo, everybody gets 40. So um, anyway, thank you, uh, Must Far Far. Uh, let's see here. Uh, asking any gifts. Uh, well, I'm giving out a whole bunch of stuff, but I did also, you know, I never, um, I never really ask for anything. And, uh, but I did post uh, something below the video here for donations uh, that um, what I will use any donations that come in today uh, on. And uh, that is that I will use it towards a trip to go back and see my family. So, and uh, that would be pretty cool if, uh, if that happens. So. Anyway, um, <clears throat> now back to the, uh, the next item here. Uh, this one is a keyword raffle. So all you have to do is be a follower and then, um, then uh, let's see here. Uh, Got to be a follower and just hit exclamation point enter. Uh, it is a keyword raffle. Uh, it is for a plex, and uh, we will draw that uh, around 3 o'clock today. So that one is free for everybody to get in on, and uh, doesn't cost anybody anything. Uh, so given that, uh, given that uh, out today as well. Um, <clears throat> okay, and then uh, we're also... <laughs> also going to uh, be doing uh, several uh, ticket raffles for the Minmatar Bounty Hunter Starter Pack today. And uh, I'll start one of those. That starts, uh, that's 20, um, it's worth 20 bucks. And uh, it costs 10 scales to enter, exclamation point, uh, ticket space and then one will cost you 10 scales you get one ticket it's like a lottery and we're gonna do several of these today so uh, how about that for a bang to get started huh oh my um, I'm almost out of breath saying it all already pretty cool so <clears throat> okay I'm uh, uh, just so excited to be here today Although, even though it's my birthday, I have to work today, too. So, if you hear the doorbell go off, it means uh, we got a customer that needs some help. So, uh, <laughs> I'll be doing that as well. Wearing many hats today. Um, so, okay. Let me uh, bring on TeamSpeak here. Hello, Fatley. How are you today? Hi, hi, Marky. I understand it is your birthday. Welcome today. to the Dragons. It is. It is. Yes. Happy birthday, Marky. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, going to have some fun today. Welcome to the Dragons. Um, I understand there's a full day room or something going on. There's a, wait, who says that? 
Rollins just said you were doing a room all day, whether that just means you're in the Welcome to the Dragons. <laughs> Well, I'm certainly willing to um, to team up with other people and go out killing people in faction warfare. <laughs> um, it, uh, uh, I should have known those alien maggots booby trapped this subscriber oh, train. Oh man, I just saw that one of my things got reset. I'm going to fix it here real quick, live on stream. Yes, you're all going to see it. Oh goodness. So. Um, oh no. Yeah, I know. I know. The combo timer is wrong. Darn it. Okay. Fixing it is now fixed. Okay. Um, so, um, thanks again for the birthday wishes, everybody. And uh, uh, so, yeah, if we want to go out doing some roaming, doing some killing, uh, doing some whatever, uh, I'm down for that. Um, and... Um, so uh, it's interesting that Rolas said that. I don't know where he got that from, but uh, Rolas, I love you anyway. <laughs> so. Um, so I see you've moved into a fire tale. Yeah, this is a different you character. You... Yeah. Welcome to the dragons. You said that you stayed in one system. I did. I stayed in one system and I made 683,000 loyalty points in one system without dying. Yeah, works really well when you stay in one system because you see a lot less people. Yes, and uh, I'm not going to share what system I was in, but I kid you not, in all of that time, I only saw three uh, opposing Milita and over two days. And now the system was very, very busy. There was a lot of people in there, but I think... I suspect that a lot of people live in that system that are not in the Milita. And uh, so when when somebody, you know, hits that system, they, they Welcome, see Elder Dragon. all them people. So, you think you're worthy of being a Marquee Dragon subscriber? <laughs> Another sub. Duke isn't so sure of that. Get in line with the other dragons and show me what you're made of. What are you waiting for? Get over there before I open a can of whoop ass. Okay, uh, Shiro Tenshi, thank you uh, for subbing. I appreciate it. I'm giving you a thousand scales. And um, then uh, since my sub, my combo timer messed up and I had to reset it, uh, I'm going to give everybody 20 scales anyway, even though it didn't bark out a combo. Um, but... Uh, yeah, so gonna do that anyway for everybody. So uh, thank you, Shiro, and uh, everybody give a shout out to Shiro for uh, the 20 scales all of you just got. Um, anyway, as I was saying, I think that um, that because there's so many people living in that system, that when um, faction people come in, that they say, oh my God, there's way too many people in here to have a lot of success, and they leave. And um, uh, so I only got, uh, in fact, I didn't ever see any of the opposing faction. And, um, and I was only challenged by about four pirates. So uh, to me, while it was a little more boring because there wasn't as much uh, fighting going on, uh, it, uh, um, what, a, what a, you know, an easy day of uh of getting uh lp so and this ship is very very fast so i'll show everybody the fit that i got on this which um yeah this fit um actually um I'd, I'd never flown a fire tail before i didn't have any fit for it and um so I went searching around. I found one from 2008 on Battle Clinic, um, and I just decided to start with that. And this is not exactly that fit, but it's um, uh, it's what I based this off of. And um, so um, I ended up putting in uh, three overdrive injector system twos, and. It's, um, it's pretty cool because I can get uh, almost 4,400 um, um, meters per second, which 
when someone comes in, they, um, um, you know, I just start taking off and it's kind of funny because they, um, I, I, I outpace them so fast that they're like, what the fuck just happened? And they go away. <laughs> so, um, anyway, hey, fat lady. That, but... Oh, go ahead. Yeah. I don't know. I was just going to say, if you n find yourself never needing that much speed and you want to kill the rats a little faster, you can change those lows for uh, whatever the projectile mm -hmm. damage ones are. Right, right. Welcome to so, the dragons. And I can I can see that. So, um, but um, I was just having fun with this. Um, I was um, pretty, pretty pleased with... Um, with this um so let me uh can i pick your brain fatly uh maybe maybe okay so um i have a um a tracking computer that i have in here which um says that you know gives me an optimal range bonus of six percent and a tracking speed bonus of twelve percent um i when I put this in, it doesn't seem to affect my DPS. Um, so maybe tracking speed doesn't affect DPS? No, tracking speed is how well you track the target. Uh, it, it doesn't actually increase your damage or your fire rate. It helps you just track the target and maybe hit them a little better. Okay. Well, I, I kind of thought that, but I thought that maybe that would equal, you know, better tracking would, um, would, would equal being able to do more damage. Um, uh, it may be, especially if you're orbiting close or at high enough speed that it's needed, then you'll notice that you'll hit more often. Uh, it doesn't show in any of the DPS counts because DPS counts don't account for missing the target. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you may also find that you hit for a critical or a penetrate more often. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, but uh, you don't need the script. Uh, it'll give you the small bonuses to everything as you activate it. It's just usually uh, for the file tail, people throw in the tracking script because you're moving so quickly. You need the tracking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I tried it both with and without. Um, it didn't seem to feel a whole lot different. Um, so. It probably not. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, anyway, um, so, yeah, and um, when, I, when I was running with the script, the script never seemed to consume. I mean, it just... No, it's permanent. It just adjusts the modifiers, that's all. Okay, okay. So I was looking at, um, I was looking at the fit. I wonder if um, this old, old fit, and I wonder if previously the, the fire t uh, or the, the tracking computer... Um, actually consumed them over a period of time because um, the fit actually showed that it had 50 of those in it, in its cargo. So, no, it, it never consumed them. It was just, he probably just threw in 50 for fun or something. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. So, um, yes, thank you, Brian. Good morning. Um, and... Uh, let's see here. Um, so I think that I think that's about uh, probably pretty much pretty much it. I am running um, rockets and guns, um, and I saw that um, that I could you know also use the the energy drain stuff uh, in that uh, other high slot. Um, but the fact is, is that I wasn't sure that my DPS was high enough to, to really engage with other people. Um, what's, what's your thought on that? Uh, what guns are in, are they artillery or auto cannon? They're auto cannons. Um, tech one, tech two. Tech two. Yep, showing for 120 DPS. Um, I can't. I'm at 150 millimeter right now. There's like the 180 and the 200 as well, um, or there's two other sizes. 
which I know that like, um, if I put in the 200, the DPS is a little bit higher. Um, yeah, because they're a uh, better gun. Um, you've kind of got two conflicting things, because you've got, uh, you've got, your lows is all speed, and you've mm -hmm, got your mm -hmm. micro warp drive, obviously, which I wouldn't change. Not right. on a fire cap. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. which, which is all speed. But then you're going to be going at a speed where your auto cannons, while they can track, because auto cannons are better at tracking than artillery, um, you're going to be orbiting at a speed that's going to it's going to ru really ruin your range because your range is almost nothing. I mean, you could buy the longer range Tech 2 ammo, which I think is Barrage. That'll give you a bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my optimal range is 600, good. and I have trouble staying that close. So, um, and, you know, should I be, you know, of course there's these, there's these different types of auto cannons, different millimeters. Um, and I, and I tried looking at them to see whether or not that, you know, going with like 150 instead of 200, you know, did that mean that I aim a little bit better, you know, or that, um, you know, I guess I didn't understand the difference in them. Other than I can see DPS differences. It may have been tracking. It may have been fitting, but I doubt that because you've got plenty of fitting left. It may have been low skill character fit, although possibly not. Uh, to be honest, if if um, if you don't want to fight, um, keep the auto cannons. Go up to two hundred and change your lows to the damage lows for. Projectile. Change the lows to damage. You think uh, yeah, you think I'll have enough speed still? You'll have plenty of speed, like um, right. even with those gone, you'll have three k easy. Let's try it. We'll see what uh, we can do here. If you wanted to to combat and actually fight back a little bit. Um, I would change to artillery. Um, you don't need a disruptor if you don't want to keep them there, like if you just want to fight people. But mm, fight them to make them run away. Um, and then I would leave one of the speed in, I would add a damage control, and I would add a damage mod. Mm hmm But that's if you wanted to do PvP. I mean, you're mostly there for making the LP. Right. So. No, I mean, I want to make kills, too. If I can do both, that's even better. Um, it's kind of counterintuitive in Firetail, because Firetail works best in PvP with artillery staying at range, um, kiting the enemy, and such like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So... But uh, you do need, if you're going to do any kind of PvP, you do need to uh, keep one of the speed, uh, add a damage control, and either add a gyro, which is the damage for um, projectile, or add a ancillary armor wrapper small. So going from 150 to 200 gave me six more DPS. Yeah, it wouldn't have been. It was never going to be much of a change, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it'll give you a bit more range, a bit less tracking. But that's what the tracking computer helps with. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. So. It's just you're going to have difficulty with that speed, it's staying close for the auto cannons to hit. I recommend buying some barrage small, so that you have some range for PvP, and whenever you want to engage something, switch over to the barrage ammo. Now, the the barrage ammo, though, it's not going to, you know, when I say I want to engage in PvP, it's just going to give me a little bit more. Um, does that just make me more effective whenever I'm... Uh... No, 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 it, um, with hail... They have a uh, range uh, 
debuff, less range, but more damage. Uh, with the barrage, you'll have a lot more range, because you won't have the debuff, but you also have a little extra range. You'll find your range increased, that you could fight at around 15 kilometers pretty effectively, even with auto cannons. Mm -hmm. You'll lose some DPS, but um, it helps your speed and keep you alive. Hey, so I've added a uh, gyro uh, stabilizer two, and that um, that increased quite significantly. I'm up to 167 DPS now. Um, and then you you thought of damage control, huh? Um, in so, any case, going into any kind of PvP, damage control is the largest increase in effect of each HP. Okay. There's only rare certain circumstances that you don't fit a damage control, and it's usually for a purpose for that low slot. Oh, I don't have enough CPU. Okay. See what happens when you take out the battery that's in your mid slot? Okay, now it's online. And then what CPU have you got left after that? 24.7. Is that enough for a disruptor? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think you might Let's have see. to remove that rocket. Oh. The rocket's not going to help you much either way. It's adding, what, 20 DPS or something at most? Um, yeah, 15. Yeah. Hey, well, I'll uh, remove that. And then, um, let's see. I think I can use Warp In Disruptor, that remaining too. Slot, you, can, you can either do the Disruptor, um, or if you don't intend on keeping your target there and just keep him away when he gets close at a scrambler and then you turn that on when he gets close so he doesn't constantly catch you. Yeah. Uh, the disruptor has the range to keep him there while you're orbiting him at range. The, disc the scrambler would be if he gets close and has a micro warp drive as well. Let's see here. Mm, no, I don't have enough CPU for the, uh, not for the warp disruptor too. Let's see here. Let's see what the variations are here. Let's see if I can find one that has um, under 35 CP requirement. Yeah, faint warp One disruptor. Of the metas? Yeah. yeah, faint. Um, the faint is probably going to be the. Um, hmm. Yeah, so the faint uh, looks like it, but I don't know. The word faint bothers me. Let's see. Oh, that's Tw just a 20k medicine. range. It still works the same. Yep. Okay. So but, uh, that, that fits, fits in there. Do fine. It's nothing special. It's nothing huge. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, now I deplete in one minute, though. Ah, uh, that's with everything turned on, so... Not true. A minute in frigate fight isn't unreasonable. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me save this fit. Oh, I was going to get some barrage. Yeah, you'll need that.
Okay. Yeah, I know I can't fit all of it. Oh, why did it put those in there? Must have had multiple things selected at once. Well, let's load up that barrage and see what that does to the DPS. Oh, damn. Only 109 with barrage. That's right. Check your range, though. Uh. Let's see. Um, yeah, optimal range is 1380 now. It's all, It's doubled. So if I'm orbiting at high speed at like 500 on them, I'm going to be out in that 1,000, 1,300 range anyway. Uh, if you're doing PvP, you'll be... Yeah. Okay. See, with the with keeping the auto cannons, it just, it just makes me think to switch to Afterburner, but uh, the fire tail just works so well with the micro warp drive. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've been pleased with it. And then if it. you did, you would switch to Scram instead, and uh, it'd be a bit more of a brawler fit. Yeah. Well, I think this. Um, I think this feels pretty good. So let's see here. Stack all of that. We'll try. Uh, try all this out. Save. Cool. Uh, I can keep the rocket if I fit a prop. Yeah, I'm not sure that uh, I want to do that. Um, so I think uh, uh, that that having uh, the micro warp on this is. Uh, big, a big, very big benefit. So, okay. Hey, I got attacked in Jita yesterday in my freighter. Oh, it's no. kind of interesting. No, and the guy was quickly pummeled, and you know, because I was right at the dock. It's kind of funny. I don't know what the guy was doing. Uh, Epic Nero is saying to take off the the web. Um, the web helps him with the NPC rats. And yeah, yeah. NPCs. the The NPCs are a problem, especially. Um, yeah, if. Um, in fact, half the time I don't even orbit them. I just sit right behind them and I take the damage. Um, so Actually, they have a point. The web was beneficial when it was missiles you were firing. Guns mm -hmm. don't care about the target's speed as long as it hits them with tracking. Right. Well, that what they what kept happening was uh, they kept getting out of range, too. So. Um, the, the rats, well, I mean, we'll take it out and see, but the rats were commonly uh, getting out 12, 14 K and uh, while I was chasing them around, um, cause they'd turn on their micro warp too. <laughs> and, uh, so, and then, then I'm shooting at nothing, even with, um, even with the barrage, see with hail, my, um, I don't know, I was at six, six K. So a barrage will fix that. Well, we'll take it out and try. That's all part of this. I love uh, experimenting with this stuff. Theory crafting or whatever. Mm. So. Yeah. Oh, yes. I forgot to look at all the items. Maybe we should do that. Maybe I should go back into the dock. Holy cow. There's some, um, some good references in there to various things that have happened.
Yeah. One would so, be the SEC guidelines, uh, lotteries for dummies. Let me just go through these. Welcome order. to the Dragons. There's some new clothing, which apparently nobody is selling yet. Um, uh, people are trying to sell it. I don't know why people are trying to sell it, because every single person gets some, gets one of these. So it's like, I don't think the, the price is going to be very high. And anybody who logs in, I don't know. Doesn't make any sense to me. Um, so fireworks, copper fireworks, snowballs, sodium. Let's see here. Let me stack all. Alice Saki's good. Good posting guide. One hundred and one tips. How do you read it? Do you double click it or something? And just show info. It's not an actual book that you read, it's just whatever description it has. Oh, well the description means nothing. It just says it's one hundred and one tips for good public relations except there's nothing there <laughs> yeah but there are references to various things and people that have happened to me except that you no there isn't how do you how do you read it then because it, it's no, it's a one the descriptions reference people it doesn't the action does the action no when you <laughs> when you show info and you read it uh huh. The description ver mentions various things that have happened in Eve, whether they've been people, uh, events, etc. Okay, so uh, uh, just just, just don't uh, understand them. Let me see if I'm being dense here. I right click on the book, I select Show Info, and I'm on the description tab, and that's where it's supposed to be. Yeah. The description. Okay, it's not there. It's it's one sentence. The words that are there. That's it. That's it. It's not very much. It's not a giant book. It's just a sentence or two. Yeah, okay, one sentence. Okay, great. <laughs> um, Cribba's modified... What is this? Modified strip miner. Jury rigged with duct tape. Oh, it must be Mimitar. Um, okay. Is it just a new type of miner? It doesn't. It doesn't even have any. No, they're all gag gifts. They have no attributes. They cannot be used. They're just all gag gifts. Yeah. Okay. They just reference things. Yep. A hollow reel. Culinary tips. Yes. Let's see here. Um, a stash. Apparently, this is someone famous. Okay. Oh, Jump. combo. Woo, combo. Okay. Uh, example, thank you uh, for the sub. And uh, let me add some scales to you. Let's see here. So I'm adding a thousand scales to you. By the way, all subs. Uh, first of the month, I give scales to every all the subs, too. So whether you're here or not, you don't have to actually be here. But um, And then, uh, so in essence, that was the th third combo. Let me write this. Let me start. Um, let me uh, start marking these off so I don't forget. So I'm giving 30 scales to everybody. Uh, compliments of example. Everybody give him a shout out. Thank you. There we go. 95 people just got 30 more scales. Okay. So, now. Um, okay, another movie, Manufacturing Union. Yeah, these are, I don't know. It does, One that not... you may understand is go to the SEC guidelines. Okay. Lotteries for dummies. Okay. 
Uh, the Secure Commerce Commission presents this comprehensive guide to how to host your gambling establishment within the law in order to prevent seizure of assets by Concord. Yeah, like Summer Blink got everything seized by Concord. <laughs> Unfortunately. And that, uh, that's the idea behind the, all the items. They all have some reference that they're, mm. they're linking to. Yeah. Three down. All right. Uh, let's see here. Oh, mask it up, resubbed. Um, yeah, I didn't figure out what I was going to do for resubs because I moved to a little bit different system here because uh, anybody who was on automatic uh, update on their sub didn't um, didn't get um, didn't get scales added to them like they were supposed to, and it's a failing in the bot system that I have. Um, I haven't been able to fix it, so now I'm doing it manually. So. Um, uh, anyway, uh, Maskatuck, you'll, uh, um, you already got your bonus when you subbed the first time and I gave you more, uh, scales. I caught everybody up and so you'll get more about the first of the month. Um, thank you for, uh, resubbing. I appreciate it. And so that's, um, that's four. So I'm gonna give everybody 40. I'll take that. I think that works. Let me find my right screen here again. So, yeah, anyway, I changed the system about a week ago and um, uh, because it wasn't fair to, to people. So I wanted it, I wanted it to be fair. Um, yeah, so thanks again, Maskatuck. Okay, Four so new elder dragons. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we can build an army. What are you waiting for, an invitation? Subscribe now. Gunfighter J, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> Make that five. Yep, okay, gunfighter. Let me uh, see, how do I refresh this screen here? All users, and there we go. Okay, so new sub, adding a thousand points to you, thousand scales, and then, uh, uh, so, yeah, what, that's, uh, um, that's five. 50 to everybody. Wow, we're really getting up there. You guys are gonna make bank today. Everybody who's here right now. Mo money. Yep. Case, yes. Yep. Mo scales. Fifty scales to ninety-four viewers. Uh, everybody say thanks to Gunfighter. Woohoo! All right. Wow. Cool. Did I mark that? Yeah, I marked that off. Okay. So. It's gonna be a sub fest today or something like that. <laughs> Just so. starting off with a bang. Yep. Welcome to the dragons. So, and Fisher, thank you for following. Looks like we actually have a lot of people that have followed. Uh, Renslow, Stu Lowell, No Cone, and uh, I missed everybody else that followed before that when I had to reset the system. So, but thank you all for following. Okay, um, the damsels. Oh, the damsels drunk bodyguard. Okay. It's a reference to the mission. Oh, okay. There's a mission that you always constantly have to go rescue the damsel. Mm. Mm, mm hmm. That's his drunk bodyguard. He's not on duty. Ah, yes. The friendship. <laughs> the best ship in New Eden. Oh. Yeah, no special. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm not seeing uh, too much more here. Yep, so just a bunch of stuff. Everybody shooting off their fireworks out front. Um, so the only usable items appear to be the clothing and the fireworks. Yes, yeah. and they will be the most fun. So... Yes, and so I'm sure that Jita is going to have a ton of fireworks going off today. Okay. Man, I'm, I'm experiencing some extreme lag this morning in, in Jita. Welcome to the dragons. There would be some of that... Uh, 
Fireworks. Welcome to the Dragons. Okay, I'm just setting up my uh, modules here. I wish that uh, in the fit that um, it would have your um, your spots there for for how you like uh, you know your stuff to be set up when you're out in space, and you just drop the icons in there where you want them, and it would save it that way on the fit. Hear that, CCP? Doesn't that sound awesome? <laughs> Sounds interesting. Sounds useful. Yeah, because then Quality you're... Of life thing. Welcome to when the you, dragons. When you die a lot, like I do, and you... Um, and so you end up uh, getting a lot of uh, new ships, you're always... Welcome the to the dragons. Them. So... Let's see here, White Shadow, Bennett, uh, Tippus, Welcome and to the Dragon. Nizwid, Diferation. Thank you for following. Welcome. I am. Today is going to be a good day. Today will be a good day to die. Yes, sir. -y. Oh. Bowheads have hit market. What? Bowheads have hit the market. I don't know how long ago they started. It seems like at least 18 hours ago. Hmm. Um, their sell orders are currently for 3.45 billion. Wow. And buyers for 2.5 billion. Hmm. I wonder what the production cost is on them to, to know whether or not that's inflated or not. I would akin it equivalent to a freighter so mm -hmm. that is very inflated trust me yeah twice more than twice the price yes it is a good that day to a die massive margin well you know first to market can profit like that oh so. i had fun with the confessors profiting off those their margin I only traded about 12 or 15 of them, but I made about 30 mil minimum each. Mm-hmm. That's not bad. But if I do just one of these, that's almost a billion. But I doubt it'll happen. Yeah, you got a buy order out there? Just put one up, I only just noticed. We're at 100 people on the show now. Pretty good for 8 a.m. in the morning. Well, except for, uh, Fatley, what time is it for you? Um, it is 7 to midnight. Yep. 7 till midnight. So, um, so it'll be uh, Friday in 7 minutes for Fatley. Mm-hmm. So here it's been your birthday for almost a full day. Right, right. Yeah, you know, when I flew back from New Zealand, I, um, uh, because the time difference is like 18 hours or whatever, um, and it was, um, you know, a 22, 23 hour flight, um, it was kind of funny because, you know, it was almost like we went back, you know, back in time, um, you know, this whole day, and then all of a sudden we had almost the whole day again. So. I hated my flight to and from New Zealand. The, Just because the, of how long that was? Yeah, that and, and the, um, the it, it was so long. Um, it took us uh, about 30 hours to get there. And then the, um, you know, I'm really tall. I'm 6'4", six 6'4", four, six four, and which is taller than most people. Hey, Goldie Fox, thank you, thank you. Uh, and so, uh, I have a hard time fitting into the airline seats anyway, cause like when the person in front of me, my knees are already up against the, against the chair in front of me. 
uh, and if the person in front of me uh, leans their seat back, um, it hurts. <laughs> and um, so uh, I remember on the way down there, the person that was in front of me, uh, I asked him to not lean back, and they said that was unacceptable. <laughs> unacceptable. I must yes. make your life Hard. And and it pissed him off, and so I said, "Okay, well, I got really long legs. You're gonna crush my legs whenever you lean back. So, um, at least give me a heads up." And and then they said something Welcome to me like, to the dragons. I'm gonna get comfortable whenever I want to." And um, sorry, I'm like, "Fuck, this is really starting out to be a great trip." <laughs> so. Anyway, I try and, you know, I used to always get the uh, emergency exits, but uh, now they start, char they charge a lot more for the emergency exits now. So, yeah. This is a fire tail. Yes, that's what I'm flying. It's very, very fast. Um, so, my fit that I had before had it at about 4,400 meters per second. This one is about 3,700 meters per second. It's so. still faster than most frigates you're going to come across, unless they're Tech 2. Yeah. Well, we'll see how well it works out, because it worked out really good, because I just I just moved out of the way every time um, previously. So I, I am going to check the map here, see where I want to go. Okay, that should be fine. Heading out, seeing how fast I die. Seven second death, new world record. Seven seconds. Yes, are there bets? <laughs> Ruben Barrow, thank you for the follow. Welcome. To be honest, if you if you pay attention, pay right, and um, play right, um, most people avoid all the uh, faction frigates when they're hunting around, just because they're uh, a bit of a pain to catch. Right. Or a bit of a pain to fight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did. Um, I did actually notice that um, that there was a few that came up to the gate and never came in. I get that a lot in my comment because uh, all the Tech One frigates couldn't possibly fight it properly, and and anything bigger, well, I knew it was coming. Welcome to the Dragons. Nero O, thank you for following. Welcome. Time for some food for me? <laughs> um, it's only 8 a.m. I have had my breakfast. You know, I did see there was... Um, I forget where I read this. But I saw that there was a... Um, some company that allows you to put stuff on your Twitch to um, order food for the streamer and yes, have it perfect. delivered. Yeah, except um, they don't deliver to my area. You know, I live, um, I live. Uh, it's it's amazing that I have fiber optic and good power here, um, but uh, literally I can hear cows moving. Uh, if I stand outside. So, I can walk two blocks and be at farmland. So... Oh. And you have yeah. fiber optic. I do, I do. It's pretty impressive. It's better I, I, than me. I actually moved to this area based upon that. So, um... It, uh... 
was um, part of our decision as to where we moved. We would have lived a lot more inner city if we couldn't get um, couldn't get it. But what we found out was is that the Tampa, Florida area was the test case for Verizon uh, for putting in uh, fiber in their um, nationwide fiber project. So um, we've got good fiber here, and it. Um, but it never went out to everywhere. So they're all over the place, but it didn't go nationwide. Um, so. Our fiber optic was gonna go nationwide and then the government changed and they scrapped it. Yeah. Yup. So I was much salty with that change. Yeah. Uh, Ultra, I am playing on three monitors. Um, FPS I think is, uh, Working pretty good. I'm at like 40 right now, which is not bad. Um, so Google Fiber has started launching at a whole bunch of cities here. And what's really crazy about Google Fiber is it's literally like 20 bucks a month for gigabit up, gigabit down. Um, so um, Google owns, is the primary owner of dark fiber in the United States. And dark fiber is the, the fiber that's been laid out there that is not in use. And they bought it up after so many companies like Verizon failed to get it, get it all implemented. Uh, they laid all this fiber out there and then couldn't get it all implemented and couldn't afford the whole infrastructure for it. And they lost a whole bunch of money. And, uh, you know, we... Uh, uh, Google bought it all up. So. Huh. The horror says his parents lived in Kansas City and they give him a free tablet with the service as well. That's cool. I know the kids aren't watching, but we got them Android tablets for Christmas. So. I think uh, they're going to have fun with that. They'll each have their own. They've been uh, they've been sharing a, an original iPad, iPad One. <laughs> hmm. I'm looking at each one of these sectors as I, or systems as I go through, seeing whether or not it's a good place to be. Yeah, uh, Kazvon is right. You can get Google Fiber for free, actually, if you just want basic. So, but what they charge for the high-end stuff is just, pff, it's nothing. Yes. And I'm sure, I'm sure the cable companies hate jealous. it. That would be the one thing that I moved to America for. Better internet. Mm -hmm. Well, um, so close to you is Tonga, which has really good internet. I mean, it's a little island uh, near the Philippines, but <laughs> they they have um, they have some really interesting uh, laws uh, there for internet. Uh, one is is that there's no tax whatsoever, and if you put your headquarters there for your business, you will have no tax whatsoever. The only requirement is that you have like 75% of the workforce uh, be indigenous people. So, mm. yeah. No, if, if I wanted fiber, I could move into the city. It's just the city. Yeah. I'm sure it's similar to... I'm like sure it. the desire to move to the city is the same as the desire to move into the city in America. It's pain. I uh I like living in the city. I lived in I grew up in the city, um, but I like uh, living in the country too. So. So just eight minutes left on uh, the raffle for uh, Mimitar Bounty Hunter Starter Pack, and uh, don't forget. Um, 
exclamation point enter. If you're a follower, you'll be entered to win a uh, Plex code, which I'll draw near the end of the show today. And uh, then we got the auction for the um, second decade edition, the big shipped box. It has the golden pod, Plex, and all that stuff in it. Yes, there's currently only 39 people that are in for the, that have entered for the uh, Plex giveaway. There's a lot more of you watching. Exclamation point enter. I wish this system looked better. Welcome to the Dragons. I heard your Samsung get a message. It did? Oh. How did you... Welcome to the Dragons. A little while ago. Damn, did I miss something? I mean, one While just... you were talking a few minutes ago. Huh, it went off just now while I... That's Welcome really to the Dragons. I didn't notice because it's, you know, universal. Welcome kind of to the Dragons. Energy. Yeah. I'm going to make a couple of safes in here. I'm going to take care of this customer. Welcome to the Dragons. See about getting some LP. Welcome to the Dragons. Holy cow. The horror. Muppet Bork. Flaves. Ironhearted. Thank you for following. Welcome. Bunches of people. Okay, well, that customer's already taken care of. Sweet. Okay, make a second safe point. Walk drive active. Should always have more than one. Yes. And they're like com condoms. You use them once and then you toss them. <laughs> Great. Hadn't heard of that before. But okay. It in general applies, but you can reuse the same ones just as long as um, <laughs> no one has been scanning down the system. Right. I wouldn't advise reusing the other. Right. Items. Yes. So, um, last time you were on the show, you said that, um, that the, um, that the outposts respond. And, um, so I've been using that information and it's been pretty good. It's helped me really, uh, mine some systems better. Yeah. So thank you for that advice. And, you know, so everybody's watching. Uh, if you're doing fact and warfare, do the outposts first um, because they will respawn like 30 minutes after it's completed. I don't know why. Uh, it seemed like a basic me to think of, but no one just seems to notice or care. I always mention to them, like, oh, yeah, that worked. Yeah, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Lofus Maz. So I'm really surprised at how well I've done, how well I did with this um, uh, fire tail yesterday and the day before. Um, 680,000 uh, LP. So I got over two days of kind of casually playing while watching TV and taking care of customers. I um 
uh, I think it was uh, two weeks ago or something. I may have mentioned it, but um, I, I briefly joined Faction Warfare for two days and ran around in my Comet to do sites in one or two systems uh, just to see if I could do the same as what I did back when um, you only killed the rat once and then left and that was it. Mm -hmm. Killed the rat once and then ran the site. You didn't have to constantly kill it like you do now. And I got uh, 1.5 million LP in two days, so... Wow. I retested my theory, and my theory still works perfectly fine, so... I was happy with it. Uh-oh. Navy Comet inbound. Already. Mm-hmm. That one will come in on you, no problem. He doesn't mind. I was not um, busting the armor wrap either. This guy, so. Oh, if you still had barrage, you should switch. Use hail on the rats, and you only switch to barrage when you need to fight a player. Yeah, okay. Well, I don't think that he's coming after me. Probably not. You'll be a good bit faster than him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm 170 out from him already. He's just a pirate. I'm just a pirate. See if he's uh, still encroaching on me. He's just sitting out there in space. Wonder if he's bringing buddies in or what he's thinking. Uh, even if he was, it doesn't matter. You're far away. Yeah, this distance, they can't touch me. Probably just waiting to see what I'm going to do. I'm just sitting here seeing what he's going to do. <laughs> this is like a staring contest. And amazingly, the rats are still shooting at me. And they are 200k away. Rats cheat. Yeah. I think they do. Mm, raffle closed. Cool. Okay. So, um, in that, um, in that raffle there, um, wow, well, 55 people entered. Okay, well, while I'm uh, seeing what this Yahoo's doing, we will um, draw the winner. And Dan Vane is the winner. So, look at that. Looks like he only bought one ticket. That's all it takes to win. Just one ticket. Well, this guy's approaching me now, but very, very slow. I don't know what he's doing. Keep an eye on him while I uh, write this uh, up for Dan Vane. Oh, now he's uh, now he's approaching at quick speed. Okay, I'll get some more distance. Maybe he thinks I'm asleep at the wheel. And he's off. 
Okay. Kind of thought so. He didn't like that. Hey, Dan, I'm going to write this uh, message to you. Get this sent off to you before uh, going back in and engaging. There's nothing else on scan. There isn't. I just got to remember to check, check that, you know? I, like, get looking at different things and stuff. I think everything's okay. And the next thing I know, I've got a ship right on top of me. <laughs> it's no good. Okay, Dan Vane, check your Twitch mail. It has Happy been sent to you. Oh, hey, uh, Goldie, how's it going? Thank you. Good. How are you? Good. Good. So we'll start. Um, we'll start another one of these. Okay. Um, and oh shit! Really? Did I just draw on the wrong thing? I drew on the wrong thing. Let's see. Yeah, I drew on the wrong thing, guys. Um, okay, so... Oh, here comes this comet again. Damn it. Okay, I'm just going to warp to a safe spot and fix this. Um, okay, so I meant to do the Mimitar Bounty Hunter starter pack, and what I accidentally did was the Plex. I'm not going to give away the Plex uh, I yet. I should have known those alien maggots booby-trapped this subscriber train. Um, or no, wait, what is going on here? Does it show me on multiple things? I've never done three of these at once before, so, um, let's see here. Uh, forget what I'm saying. Shit. I don't even know what happened here. When your head is all over the place. Yeah, that was keyword raffle. That was not the right thing. Okay, so Dan Vane, you still win it. Um, I'm, I guess I'm going to draw another one. And we're going to start the the keyword raffle over again. Um, because uh, I screwed it up. So, no winners were drawn from the last lap wrap. Why does it say no winners were drawn? Welcome I to the Dragons. Right there. You guys can't see what I see on my screen, but just see if I can get this done right. You're just pointing at ghosts to us. Yeah. Okay. Keyword raffle. Why does it say, why does it offer me to draw and draw on this? Okay. So I'm going to draw, and I'm going to come back to the other one, but I'm going to, I'm going to draw on the uh, ticket raffle, which is the tickets that you guys bought, and I will send the winner of that a uh, new account. So, Android. Okay. So, um, yeah, I was wondering why I didn't say how many tickets he had, uh, he had bought. So that was, that was my error. So... Marky, that second decade collector's edition, does that include all the physical stuff as well? Oh yeah, it's the physical box. As long as, you know, it's, and it's shipped for free to you as long as you're in the U.S. or an EU member country. So. Okay. Uh, Android, congratulations. You are the real winner of this. Um, Dan Vane w was a, a consolation winner. <laughs> Something like that. It was my screw-up winner. It's a good thing I have uh, multiple of these available. So, Android, uh, check your... Uh, streams crashed. Oh, f Golly. 
Oh, I still see it live. It's coming back up again. That's there it bad. goes. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Um, so, it's... Uh, looks like stream is back up. So, I didn't push the big red button. Yeah. No, I didn't press anything. So, okay. Android, I sent you the, uh, the code that you won. Congratulations. And um, so, we're going to reset that I'm going to start a new one where you can buy tickets again for the Minmatar Bounty Hunter Starter Pack. Um, so we're going to do a bunch of those today. And um, so anybody who wanted to win the last one and didn't, now's your chance. Exclamation point ticket space and then like one will take 10 scales. Um, okay, now the keyword raffle. Um, yeah, I messed this up. I messed the keyword raffle up. So I'm resetting it. Okay, keyword raffle. Messed so, it up, my friend. Yeah, I messed it up. Okay, there we go. So exclamation point enter. This The keyword raffle is exclamation point enter. It's a free entry for a Plex. And... Um, and I'll severely try not to screw that up next time. <laughs> so you don't have to pay anything? Well, you know, uh, I apologize to all those who already had it enter before. Got to hit it again now. So, and then there is, of course, the, um, the auction, which is going on. I don't even know what it's up to, but um, that is for the full shipped edition. And if you are outside of the... Uh, the EU member countries or the US, uh, I will offer you a premium account instead, which is new account code with 30 days, has all the core packs on it, battleship skins, and a Plex in it. Uh, it's the, the closest value thing that I have, which I can offer in exchange, so that you don't have to pay uh, outrageous customs charges. And then I'll just redeem that um, that uh, second decade edition for myself. <laughs> so you just literally just type enter. It doesn't need to do yeah, anything exc else. Exclamation point enter. Yep. Awesome. And then you are in. So, okay. I'm sorry I messed that up. I don't like when I mess things up. Replenix, thank you for the birthday wishes. So, I'm giving all of you presents today. <laughs> well, not all. I mean, I, I say that in kind of, you know, laughing. Okay. Now I'm going to try out and go out and continue my success. Get at least a couple captures. And I think I need to add a faction warfare icon here. Okay, we're at uh, tier four still. Uh, it's amazing, but Minimitar has been completely crushed. Um, I talked about actually going and fighting on the Minimitar side uh, and, you know, helping them out. Um, but Roll has talked me out of it. Really? It's not worth yes. it. Yes. It's not worth it. Um, it won't he says. Much of a he says, he says, quit being a role player. <laughs> oh, not only that, but eventually it'll bounce back on its own because people will switch the community or move it around because LP on the MR side is becoming uh, unreasonable in terms of its prices. Mm hmm Yeah. I plan on holding on to my LP for probably a while. You know, after, you know... When Amar settles down, I'll probably end up having to hold on to it for six months. So wouldn't be surprised. Yep. Hello, Fismaz. Sup. I really shouldn't have overbid that much on the last premium pack. Damn it. Hmm. Yes. Wow, well. That one now. Now gold, gold can win this one easily. Not if any of the other eight people who are ahead of me show up. Yeah.
So, and we'll be finishing Yippee that auction. Yippee motherfucker. You, sir, rock. All right. Um, Boogie King says, happy birthday, Marky. Have fun in Oregon. Okay, right, so uh, thank you very much, Boogie King. Uh, yeah, any donations that come in today, I'm putting toward a trip back to Oregon to see family. So that's my birthday wish. That's what I'm uh, putting it toward. Okay, let me uh, go ahead and start shooting at this guy instead of just orbiting him. <laughs> How long the auction gone for? Uh, ends at 3 o'clock Eastern. So, let's see. How many hours is that from now? Seven and a half. Seven and a half, something like that. Yeah. Okay, what am I shooting at that I am not hitting here? I'm You're probably orbiting one bit, shooting at another. No, I'm shooting at the right one. Um, Doesn't I'm... look like it. Wait, did you say 7 p.m.? Or 3 p.m.? Uh, 3... Oh, okay. I'm I'm minus five GMT, so it's like eight oh, okay. PM. Okay. Am I really shooting at the other yeah, one? Marky, you're shooting at the other one while opening one. Hi, you're... my name's Marky Dragon. I'm a recovering <laughs> uh Eve player. Observe Marky Dragon in his natural habitat as he derps up the orbit and shoot. Right. You can tell that he's totally clueless as he orbits one and tries to shoot the other. That's not even in range. Oh, whoa, CCP's given us a bunch of holiday stuff. Yep, yep. Already. What is they're all gag gifts and they're all in reference to various things that have happened throughout Eve's life. The friendship. One of which is in reference to uh, Summer Blink going down. Probably the most notable recent one, I think. Not that the guys at Summer Blink would find that funny, but you know. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of people that wouldn't find that funny. What do these do? Welcome to Eve. Yep. Okay. Um, so, here comes this comet again. Man, he just won't leave me alone. It's the same guy. Well, I definitely think we should be out roaming together today in Faction Warfare area, killing Why Faction people. Birthday? A birthday roam. Yes. Unfortunately, there's no birthday getting drunk at the moment. I'm watching the <laughs> store. Oh, it's uh, a little early for that, you know, but... Okay, so I think that this guy has decided that he is not going to fly in here. Yep, he left. He's like, oh, it's that guy that I couldn't get to last time. Welcome Screw to that. the dragons. So, Mordiz and I, the Truthal, thank you for following. Welcome. And again, Boogie King, thank you. Yeah, it's 12. Fatigue recovery agent. Oh, shit. What is yeah. that? Uh, it was in the redeemable items. No, I mean, what's what's flying in on me here? Uh, what does it say? Uh, I don't know. I'm redeeming it, and then I'll find out. I meant to monkey. Oh, god damn it. I'm getting off. Yeah, I've got, uh, I got a dozen ships that just flew in on me here. Ooh. Yeah. Actually, not quite a dozen, but um, quite a few. Four. So... Um, three. I was embellishing. <laughs> oh, so and one, one of the guys got right next to me. How the fuck did he do that? Oh, he, as he was warping off, it showed right next to me. That's, that scared the crap out of me. Yeah, that can happen. Yeah. You can pass people in warp and sometimes... The random number that shows up is right next to you. I know. It was like 3K from me, and I'm like, holy shit, how did he close that gap? I want some of that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm 250 away from these guys now. Oh, they brought in a police pursuit comet. Ah, 
the po the popo's on you. You gotta run. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All your LPR belong to us. So I'm gonna um, work on my setup with um, with that um, with that other microphone there, and uh, because I want to have it so that uh, in game I can use the voice in game, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna let's see here. Let me uh, no try this. No one uses the voice in game. Oh, that's too bad. Because I'd be talking to him like this, and I'd be like, oh, sweetie, please give me some free isk. Either that or, you know, I'd just sound like a little kid. And I'd be like, oh, yeah, bring it on, dude. I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work because we can hear your actual voice. I have to turn off the other mic. Yeah, I have to turn off the other mic. So... Okay. Yeah, I I don't have it all set up the way I want it, um, and and I'm not sure how I'm going to use it on in-game voice because it's actually a different system that uses in-game voice than what I broadcast out, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to see if I can actually do, um, if I can actually go to both systems simultaneously with one microphone. I don't know if I can or not. But I'm gonna try. Actually, I may be able to just my my mixer board, but uh, it's not something I've tried to do before. Okay, they're still in there. So, and now I'm out of scan range, and so um, I can't see their distance from me. But I'm wondering if when you when you get to the, um, when you get to the, because see, there's a point uh, on on these com you know complexes where you just get out of range and you can't see into it anymore, but you can still see that there's that there's other players there, and you call that grid. Grid. Okay. So I'm worried that can I be right next to the other players? On, you know, at that no, grid you point. you always see your grid. There is no well, grid point that you just suddenly switch and go, oh, look, he's right there. Okay. Okay. So I was wondering if this was like a line that I crossed, that when I cross it, that all of a sudden I was going to to find them right here. Oh, fuck. Okay. They brought it in an Estero. Um, okay. So you'll never know when it's right next to you. That's right. That's exactly what I was thinking. I call that the grid fool. Yes, and now I can't see the Astero. And it's cloaked, it's sitting in this in the site, and then when you come when you go back close, it's gonna decloak and tackle you. Yep. I'm screwed. <laughs> no, you just have to switch sites. Yeah. Did you make note of which character name had the Astero? Mm, I should have. I should have. I did not. Something you should always pay attention to. I know. <laughs> first thing, if you, if you only get a second to look at something, first thing is always the ship type. If you got more than time than that, then it's how far away. And then if you got more time than that, then it's the pilot flying. If you got more time than that, then it's direction. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. You, sir, Ooh. rock. Jay I'll send some extra bitches your way. Of course, that's after I'm done with them. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, thank you, uh, Jay Z. 75 bucks. Woo! Thanks for the great shows week to week. He yes. just keeps on throwing money at you. <laughs> um, uh, I I'm okay with it. <laughs> 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 we'll pay we'll you for for money. Yes. So. Yeah. 
Yep. So, yeah, and that's, uh, I, uh, uh, any donations today I'm using for my trip to Oregon, my uh, birthday wish is to go back and see family, so thank you much. Okay, I'm heading to another site here. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to have the same success today in this system. I am actually decided that I was not going to, while on stream, go to uh, the other system that, that I did so well in. Uh, I was actually going to see if that was a, a long-term uh, thing or not. Okay, what kind of ammo do I have loaded? And barrage. So, load my hail. And here is our comet buddy. Okay. And the Astero, um, he hasn't landed yet. See if you can catch his character name, and then you know what character name to look for in local to know if he's left or Oh, not. nice. Dragons love gold treasure and, of course, dollar bills. Uh, Pandico, thank you, thank you. The Astero is Deadly Iris. So, this is his name. Yeah, where's my cloak? Hmm. Yes. Uh, again, uh, uh, Panico, thank you, thank you, Marky, Marky's beard. May your beard have many more. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going full ZZ top now. You must construct additional beards. Hey, I don't trust that this guy uh, isn't just cloaked up in here now. I, I have I, within 30 kilometers of it. He did. What? He did cloak. Yeah, I'm pretty I sure. I just watched it happen. Okay. His square didn't jump off to the side. It just vanished, so it's cloak. Warp drive active. Okay. So... I'm leaving the system. I'm just not going to have success here. Probably not. Yep. At least not while he's there. Right. And you'll find he'll probably follow you for a system or two, and then they may give up after that. Yeah, we'll see. Some people are just territorial and chase you out of a single system. Some will hound you for a little while. Go find some Especially safes if here. They're willing, if they're willing to use an Astero to sit in the site and wait for you to come back, mm -hmm. they're pretty dedicated. Or bored. Yeah. Come on, bigger, more people for the heist. Ah, bank heist, exclamation point, bank heist, space and then a number, do like at least 10. Welcome to the dragons. I don't know how many scales I got, but I'll get in on it. Uh, Campo, Six. thank you for following. Welcome. Okay, I made a mistake. I forgot to make my safe point as I was flying. Clumsy me. 
Try that again. What were the resolutions for icons that you needed? Uh, I'd have to look it up. I don't know it off the top of my head. Welcome to the dragons. Looks about the same as TeamSpeak, so I would say at, there would at least have to be one that's 16 by 16. No, uh, we got to have exact sizes. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's for Which the... more finicky than that, is it? Well, and there's and we need them in triplicate. 28 so, oh, I got that. What is it, the government? It's Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. I'm the I'm the big one here. Either I get long or I get fucked. I get fucked. Fuck. <laughs> hey, I doubled my money. Woo! Doubled my scales. Okay. Okay, so. I can't bid on that. <laughs> Collectors anymore. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna uh, go grab another pop. I'll be right back, and then, um, yeah, I only got like one site I can do in this system, but and those guys did not follow me in, so be right back.
You like that view on the time lapse, huh? I see that. That's real nice. Isn't that cool? <laughs> that, hey, Jay Z. That uh, going, no, man? that's Montana. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate the donation. Anytime. Woohoo! So, yeah, I looked it all up last night. It's going to cost me like, um, for I mean, just for the basics for the trip. I can actually get a round trip ticket for four hundred bucks. Wow. So, um, yeah, if I fly into Seattle, I have family in Seattle, and then if I rent a car for two weeks, it's going to cost me another um, three hundred bucks. So are you thinking around the Oregon, Washington? What's that? Is it going to be around Christmas time? Or are you thinking no. into the new year? No, it's going to be next year. Nice, so, nice. Yeah, yeah. It's too much going on, and I got the yeah. Smite World Championships I'm going to here. What? Yep, yep. They're going to be giving away like two million dollar top Whew. prize. So uh, I got VIP to that. So for my dad and I, my dad arrives tomorrow. That's why there's no show tomorrow because. Um, I'm actually uh, got to go out to the airport and pick him up, and it'd be like right in the middle of the show. So, mm -hmm. um, are you going to be uh, filming at that swipe? Oh yeah, at the tournament. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. nice, nice. Yeah, might even do a special live show. I was going to try broadcasting from my laptop mm -hmm. and uh, see whether or not I could actually do that, um, and you know, just just for some fun, uh, and maybe you know, arm grab. Um, you know, some of the people there and get them on camera. Um, but I don't, I don't really know. I, I will though, however, be, um, bringing my, uh, GoPro and I'm just going to walk up to people and start talking to them nice. <laughs> nice. with the GoPro in their face. So yeah, uh, did that, um, did that last year. I met all kinds of people there. Um, you know, uh, I met and hung out with Total Biscuit. Um, and let's see some of the really big Minecraft guys. Um, and where's it being held? What, what uh, state? In Atlanta. Oh, wow. So that's not too far from you. Yeah. I'm going to drive up. So, and my dad's going to be here. So I'm taking him with me. Nice. Nice. Yep. So, and he's, he's a ham. He's, um, he's over 70 and, uh, he loves hanging out with gamers. So nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. You should have a great time then. Yeah. So I'll do uh, several. While he's here, I'll do several of the uh, Marky Dragon in real life videos. Uh, <clears throat> so we're gonna be going to Universal Studios a couple times while he's here, and um, gonna be doing Universal some Studios. Stuff. Is that uh, where they just built that like Harry Potter thing? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's gonna be badass. <laughs> yeah. So that's what he's like. He's like, if I do anything, I got to go see Harry Potter. <laughs> okay, Dad. <laughs> no like problem. Books? She, she's making more books or something, isn't she? I heard something about that. Story. Heard something about that. Uh, that sector, the the only or system, the only um, um, complex that that I could have gone to, uh, completed while I went out and got a pop. <laughs> there was only a large left, so that wasn't gonna work. Marky, there's your birthday present from me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Hey, I'm bookmarking that so I can submit it. It won't, shouldn't have any copyright things about the. Uh, oh, head those are thing. awesome. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think there'll be any copyright issues with that. And um, that is, after all, my head. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, and if they if they say anything, then. Um, I'll, uh, you know, I'll just point that out. So, um, I did, um, um, uh, oh, Maskatuck, you're going to get into Eve. Ooh, yes. When you get in, ping me and we'll hook up. Um, so the Yippie Kaye, um, I saw Stephen Colbert. Um, he was on CNN, 
and he was talking about the guy in uh, Canada, the the Master of Arms in Parliament, that um, that shot that intruder um, that was shooting up the Parliament building a couple months ago. Hmm. And um, it was really an incredible story. They they did a little feature on uh, on the guy, and. Um, he actually went to his office, and he, this guy has got to be 60-something. And he went to his office, and he um, he grabbed his um, grabbed his, his gun, and then uh, um, went and ran straight toward where the guy was, and they were opposite sides of a pillar in the building. So, so they're like, you know, three feet away from each other on two different sides of a pillar in the building. And uh, he dove down onto the ground in like a, you know, Bruce Willis move. And while diving down to the ground, shot up at the guy and uh, killed him and unloaded his whole gun into him, the rest of his gun from the floor, and uh, killed the guy. And um, I, I'm really seriously having trouble killing these guys. So I, I loaded the hail. I'm going to just go straight on at him. Orbiting, I'm not doing anything. I wouldn't bother orbiting anyway. Yeah. Welcome, um, Elder Dragon. Ooh, another sub. So, you think you're worthy of being a Marquee Dragon Fire. subscriber? Duke isn't so sure of that. Get in line with the other dragons and show me what you're made of. What are you waiting for? Get over there before I open a can of whoop ass. Brian, thanks Welcome for the resub. To the dragons. Um, so uh, I changed the system just in case you didn't you didn't see before, but uh, I changed the system so that on Welcome your first sub you get a thousand. Dragons. You get a thousand scales, and then once a month, uh, about the beginning of the month, uh, I get given another thousand. So, but uh, for that, I'll give everybody ten. And uh, so changed that up because it wasn't fair. It wasn't working right in the automated system. So I changed it to a manual thing. So, okay. Let's go get this other guy. Do you have a forum for the Marquis site? Just like a um, random channel forum? Um, no. Yes. Okay. No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> The reason, the reason that that is, um, the reason that that is, um, why I say it that way is because we do have forums for the Marky Dragon Network. Ah. Uh, uh. And um, okay, am I not shooting this guy? Why? I just got to pay more attention. Um, and so we do have them for the network, and there is a lot of a lot of stuff that goes on in there, but. Um, um, but I don't have one for the show. If that makes sense. Yep. Anyway, so I was saying about this Yippie Kaye thing. <laughs> Getting back to that, I got a little distracted there. And the guy, the the Master of Arms in Canada, um, that shot that guy in Parliament. Anyway, um, so he's being recognized as a hero, and he doesn't talk to anybody about it or whatnot. And so he's, um, you know, very, um, he's not seeking any attention or anything. And Colbert says, this guy puts the A in yippee ki -yay, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and being, you know, Canadian and A, you know, and everything and, and stuff. And I thought, oh, that's just perfect. That's pretty funny. So... And it made me think that, that I, when I do have Duke record some more stuff for me, that uh, I'm going to be totally like, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to have him record Yippie Kaye, my friend. <laughs> so just, just for our tamed down version. And I already apologized to my mom ahead of time today. I posted on my Facebook page that I was doing the show <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah. And so when I post stuff on Facebook, my family tends to come in. My family is very conservative. And so when I drop F-bombs and stuff, I'm sure that they're shocked. <laughs> and I can just hear my mom, her words in my head going, Oh, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> 
yeah. So. I'm digging this new theater mode. Theater mode? It's pretty nice. Yeah. Oh, on Twitch? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I can tell you that Twitch changed their Xbox stuff, their Xbox One stuff, and I'm very disappointed with it. And because they removed a whole bunch of functionality. And maybe there's some reason why they removed this functionality. But now, when I go and I look at the people that I'm following, I can only see their names, their picture, their, their you know profile picture or whatnot on Twitch, and their status as to whether or not they're live. You can't see what game they are playing. You can't hmm. see the title of their show. You can't see nothing. And it just made, you know, having, having this, um, you know, it just, it just made that feature on there almost totally useless because while I like watching a lot of people and, I, and some of them I watch regardless, some of them I only watch when they're playing certain games. And so now I don't know when they're playing those games. And, and I'm finding it to be a pain in the ass to go and kind of search that out and everything. So you have to actually go into their channel, then you have to wait through the advertisements, and then you see the show, and it still doesn't show you the show name. It still doesn't tell you the title, and it doesn't tell you what game they're playing. Um, it will tell you the title if you seek to make it full screen, it pops up. But it still doesn't say the game they're playing. And... Uh, it's just dumb. Speaking of ads, doesn't ads support the uh, broadcaster slightly? So little um, that um, it doesn't even matter. Either everybody is using ad block or Twitch pays shit on their ads. <laughs> I'm serious. Because normal advertising, I should be able to get $2 per thousand. Uh, 2000 for 2,000 views, I should be able to make about two bucks in normal banner advertising and stuff like that. And then, um, then you know, so um, that's you know, so that may be what they're earning. And then I'm supposed to earn, I don't know, I think it's 50% of it. I don't, I don't really know. And um, when I um, uh, see the payouts uh, I'm getting less than 20 cents per thousand Wow so so it doesn't there's just no money in it uh, in the advertising the, the the money that that I make on here uh, donations I make the most subs um, is second most and then uh, of course if you guys buy anything from our store, that, you know, pays my wage. So. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's really, really low. And I don't know, it's way lower than what I get paid on on YouTube. And YouTube is doing video ads in the front, too. So. Oh, yeah, I forgot YouTube says ads, too. Yeah. So. I think a lot of people do use ad pop, though. I think that there are a lot of people that, that do, off, that, that's maybe 50%. Um, but I'm just like, I don't care anymore. I, I'm not I'm not doing it for the advertising, although I do on my YouTube channel, the, the advertising payments that come in are paying for my guy that's editing. Um, and so the, the more that, um, that I make on that, the more videos I'm able to pay for him to edit, which means the more I can shoot and have up. So um, it just makes it easier for me. Mosey, thank you. Lodra kept. Marky, have you ever tried Shroud of the Avatar? <laughs> yeah, I, I got like swindled into that the other day or whatever. And was just logged in, was just so lost. Just. And I play so many MMOs, like I just was so lost. The and game no is not done. It's still being yeah, tested. That's true. True. And um And it tells you that like twenty times before you log in. So I should have taken that with a grain of salt, but 
Um, so I'm an original Kickstarter backer on that. And um, um, I do have a formal business relationship with them. So we may be doing something formally with them. Uh, that would be try cool. to the Avatar. Um, Talking I, to the NPCs for quests was just... I just that was just something completely new to me. I just had no idea what to do really. Well, uh, what what I got to say is that is that I stopped logging in on these test periods because the game is not done and I'm disappointed, and and so I'm just waiting for the game to be done. And it's because you don't it's not cohesive together, and so they're testing different areas and adding more things each time, and um, so if they do it right, it. it it'll have the greatness that Ultima Online had. So, because it's from the same person who made Ultima Online. Mm -hmm. And, um, but that's, that's yet to be seen. So, we'll see. But if I already have the client and all that stuff, when the game actually does come out, I'll still be able to log in, correct? Won't have to yeah. like repurchase the game? No, uh, they're not doing a monthly subscription, as far as I know. Cool, cool. They're, uh, they're doing a... Um, more of a Guild Wars type system where there will be one or two um, big content updates per year and uh, you know for 20 bucks or whatever you can uh, you know buy into it so you can keep playing the same stuff that you're currently doing and if you're happy with what you're doing great or you can you know do, uh, do some more stuff I don't know if they'll have any other um, currency like uh, Guild Wars has gems. So I'm assuming they're going to do something like that, but I don't I don't know for sure. So I'm just giving them time. Um, I'll probably formalize um, whatever it is we're going to do with them. Um, you know, a couple months before official release. Maybe I'm going to make money on this one now. We'll see. <clears throat> Welcome to the Dragons. Happily Insane, Mags, and Peter MQ, thank you for following. Welcome. So, uh, do have a couple things going on. Welcome to the Dragons. Uh, Yev, thank you for following. Um, it, exclamation point enter if you haven't already hit it. You gotta be a follower. Um, but um, later Welcome today, to the Dragons. We're gonna draw for um, a plex. And uh, then um, exclamation point ticket space one will uh, give you, um, we'll use 10 scales and give you like a lottery ticket for um, Mimitar Bounty Hunter Starter Pack, which we'll be drawing for in about 15 minutes. And then of course there's the auction, which I'm sure most everybody's getting aced out of. Um, so, what is what is the auction currently at? Uh, 2,300-ish. Okay. So, Um, I got some other announcements uh, about that, but not until we're just about ending the auction. Welcome to the Dragons. Uh, Drake and Vasimus, thank you for following. Welcome. Welcome to the Dragons. Swagish <laughs> Vivim. I'm sure I slaughtered that. Welcome. God bless you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel a little cold coming on. A little schweigesism. <laughs> it's a hard to pronounce name. So, is anybody um, wanting to work in a fleet? Um... 
No, you don't have to be a subscriber to win the Plex. You do need to be a follower, though. So, and uh, once you're a follower, exclamation point, enter, and that is free. Doesn't cost you anything. So, and I'm not going to make someone be here at the end of the show for it either. Just because I'm letting that go all day and it's kind of ridiculous to think that people are going to be able to hang out the entire day. Um, Brook Rocks, thank you. Thank you. So uh, Jay Z, how did the um, how did the riots turn out? Hopefully, lack actually, of riots. Yeah, they were. They were actually very peaceful. I was very surprised. Very happy. Um, still slept in the shop that night. Um, <laughs> but it, it was like 300 people, 400 people in our small town. So it was pretty significant. But it was peaceful. So all mm -hmm. was well. Yeah. I hate it when you run out of charges and you're like one shot away from killing them. <laughs> and then they rip enough so that he takes two shots. Yeah. Like she's taking more than that. He's repping his armor back up. There we go. And another one bites the dust. Yep. Start some singing. So Christmas Day, which, um, what, is a week away, right? Yes. Um, so I don't know yet whether or not I'm going to have any sort of show. Um, so may, may not. Depends on how things go. Um, I am working. Uh, both Alex and I uh, decided that, um, that her and I are working the whole day and so that nobody else has to. So, um, oh, you you're know. giving away? You're raffling off a, a collector's edition? Yep. What? Mm hmm. Well, okay, so uh, if you want one cheap, go to my site. 50 bucks right now. We're clearing them out. What? Mm hmm. No yep. way. 50 Wait, bucks. What? 50 oh bucks God. for the, for get, the like, collector's edition. Yes. And it's free shipping if you're in the U.S. or in European Union or European Union country. Um, oh. So store.markydragon.com or or the link that was just posted up there. Um, so fifty bucks. Uh, I don't know how many's left. I'll look. Um, oh, but order one. I think they're going to sell out today. I think we'll be sold out today. I'm going to so, have to buy one then if I don't win this. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'll order one anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't wait. Um, because let's see how many we've got left. Oh, I gotta I remember talking about the, scan. I was just talking about the soundtrack and that book that comes with it. They're both mm -hmm. very nice. Mm -hmm. You get like more than fifty dollars worth of stuff out of it. Here, oh, hands down. Hands down. Bucks, fuck yeah. yeah, there's nineteen of them left. And when they're gone, <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I was thinking about um, sending out a newsletter to our customers about it, but I think that um, that they would sell out before the newsletter made it to all of them, <laughs> which would really suck. So, are you gonna do a Christmas newsletter? Oh, kind of I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like that one that came in around Thanksgiving. Oh. Where I just talked about a bunch of stuff. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. It's like a little newsletter. Some people hated it. <laughs> I'm serious. Some people, some people just don't like emails. <laughs> you know, um, and we did, we did, uh, I did make some changes that we used to send out one newsletter to everybody, uh, all of our customers. And so if it was heavily focused on Eve, that even the non-Eve players would get it. But now we've made a change to where we're sending it by focus. 
and uh, so Replenix, no, no free shipping to Canada. In fact, you will get charged customs. Ooh, you don't want Not that. Customs. Yeah. Speaking of emails, speaking of emails, there was a streamer the other day that was talking about um, every time a streamer goes live. Think about, look at your followers. You send out every time you go live, you send out fourteen thousand six hundred thirty-four emails, unless they have <laughs> emails disabled. I think that's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Just like mm -hmm. thinking about those numbers, it's pretty neat. Yeah, I send out a lot more than that when we send our newsletter. <laughs> <laughs> it takes like twenty hours to send what? all of them. Well, it's because we throttle it a little bit. Um, even though we've got our oh, yeah. our email servers have got really high ratings. So there's actually like a rating system on email servers as to whether or not they send out spam and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and we've got a very positive rating. Um, we're in the 99.8th percentile or something like that. Wow. Um, and, but if you send too fast to Hotmail, Yahoo, AOL, whatnot. yippee ki motherfucker. They start, you they sir, start, rock. Um, I'll send some extra bitches your way. Of course, that's Whoa. after I'm done with them. But so, Alexandra, my business partner, she just sent me 50 bucks. <laughs> well, thank you, Alex. I did not expect that. In fact, I didn't even know you were watching. So, very cool. Thank you, Alex. So, yep. Welcome to it the sounds, dragons. It sounds really crazy, but... Um, yeah, I just, I just decided that, yeah... Um, that I was gonna just tell everybody what I wanted for my birthday and see what could make make that happen. So, um, <clears throat> I've never really done that before. So, I've always been very conservative and like, oh, just buy something from our store, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, but that's really cool. So, oh, in fact, yeah, okay, multiple people ordering second decade editions. Welcome to the dragons. <laughs> that's the way to do it. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay, I'll work on these in just a second here. The and first thing I did was rip that soundtrack on my computer, and I think it was the best Yes, decision. in fact, I've got that soundtrack. Oh, here, let me check and make sure nobody's dropping in on me. I get distracted, and I forget to check my uh, stuff, but shall we play the soundtrack here? It's very good. I'm going to start playing it during streams. Um, so here Wait, is, is the soundtrack. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So let's see here. Let me turn off... Let's see, do I have? Well, it's just not going to play them in order, but it'll play all of them. Yeah. Yeah. So, 18 seconds left. So, um, okay. There's one. So, we're down to 18 of those uh, second decade things. 17 is uh, in process. Yes. Just so you know, uh, uh, the address in my profile did not uh, update. Oh, for like the shipping? Yeah. Okay, right, so um, yeah, if that was you that just ordered. Um, anyway, the it's okay, because what you do is you take the code that we send you, you go to the, to the um, website that we have in a link there, um, which is the Eve site, and you enter in where you want it shipped to. So you could, in fact, okay. buy one of these as a gift for somebody else too, if you wanted to, but um, um, that's uh, that's what you do. So- I um, just ordered one right now, it's too sweet and so. Yeah, yeah. So, cool. Well, um, oh yeah, I completely forgot that board game it comes with too. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. oh, danger, yeah. mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. I was gonna sit down and play that with the kids. I haven't yet. So, didn't you say they're also adding? Uh, possibly another item onto that mystery code in the future possibly yes i i do have a guarantee that there will be something i don't know what it is I does try that to get... mean if you've already redeemed it you'll get it still yes or... mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. yeah when you when you start hearing i don't know that they have anything that barks out about it but when you start hearing other people saying there's a new mystery item then just go check and it'll be there um they haven't they didn't bark out the last one at all 
it just appeared. Um, so, and you and you could actually go and check that on the website, which is kind of crazy because you have to tell the website then apply this to my account. So, okay, I finished the that complex, forty three thousand seven hundred and fifty. Um, that is the one that I got run off of earlier. They thought that I left. I snuck back in. <laughs> so, um, okay, we'll see how many of these are left now. Because I only, the only time that I get uh, notifications on my phone is when the system detects something I need to look at. Um, or a customer has a question or something like that. So let's see here. 15 left. 15 left. Guys, they're going to be sold out by the end of the show. Just saying. At this rate. <clears throat> I'm going to have to one. This, this marquee network, is this uh, specifically for YouTubers? Yes. Yes, we actually looked at doing a streamers network. Uh, I have been in talks with Twitch about whether or not they'll do any uh, network type of stuff. Twitch is not so inclined. Um, Hitbox mm -hmm. is. We actually got into hard contract negotiations with Hitbox. But like I was mentioning on how little Twitch pays on advertising, oh, yeah. the problem is, is that, okay, so we're doing all this work and we're getting 20% of that, you know, 20% of 20 cents per thousand. I mean, come on. Um, you know, so four cents. Um, not not gonna not gonna fly. So it's like we, less than a dollar per show. Kind of. Yeah. Um, yeah. My my stats are pretty sad. On, um, you know, let's see. What was it? Was it last Saturday's show that? Um, that was we had so many people um can't remember okay so last or was it the saturday before i don't remember but last saturday so the 13th i made a dollar 64. Mm -hmm. it, it just doesn't it's not it's not worth it if i could turn the ads off i would I would just say nobody should see any ads, but Twitch has to make money, so um, I, don't, I won't take that away from them. They're they're not charging me to do this, to to run the show, and bandwidth does cost money, so. Yeah, Jay Z, the Christmas gifts are out. Really? Yes, yep. yes. So when you log in, you'll see a redeem items bar at the bottom. Make sure you're at a station where you actually want them. <laughs> <laughs> you're not like parked in Nolsec somewhere. That's something I would do. <laughs> yeah, it's something I've done. What if you want them in Nullsec? Well, then you go to Nullsec and you log in there. And it's not that bad. <laughs> One of the guys in Air Hogs the other day, he just joined and he'd got a premium account thing, and that was his first account, and so he redeemed the Plex, like, in the middle of nowhere. Right. <laughs> yes, and then you, those are the ones that you buy really cheap. <laughs> so I, I ended up shipping it to Gita and selling it for him. Mm, mm hmm Yeah. Arcade runners are good for that. So, okay, let me... Uh, oh, yes, I love my Viator. Um, my cloaky blockade runner. I mean, it is extremely fast, too. So, I've, I've actually got some officer modules on it. And and so, it's 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 actually a quarter of a billion. It's a, it's a 250, 300 million uh, ISK uh, ship fit. But... Um, it is very, very fast and, um, and very stealthy. I really like it. Warp drive active. Oh, that's a good, good Christmas present for myself. Yeah. The, the, um, I mean, if you think about it, if you're going to buy Plex to, um, you know, just to sell. It comes with a Plex already. Uh, and then the other items in it, what did we figure up it was worth? 
one point another an additional 1.4 billion or something or no we came up with 3.6 billion uh, worth of stuff plants going for a billion moment mm -hmm. um it was 1.6 billion when we did our evaluation of it um those are actually going to go up unless they unless they um decide to reissue them someplace else so um yeah, so I, I think that if you hang on to those and don't sell them yet, um, that after these are no longer available on the market, which will be soon, um, that it might go up in price. Can I open the fitting window? Yeah, give me just a minute to get into the complex and get the first rat down and I'll, I'll do that. Welcome to the Dragons. Goldie, if you come out on top on this arena, I'm calling hacks. <laughs> For the whole 15 scales. <laughs> I'm on my quest to world domination. Fifteen frickin' scales. It's not Goldie Goldie Fox, it's Goldie Hacks. <laughs> <laughs> we got Troll uh, I should have known those alien maggots booby trapped this subscriber train. We, we got uh we got Troll As and we got Goldie Hacks. <laughs> Furious fatly. So, uh, and, and they're saying what's going to go up in uh, price in, in chat. Um, the golden pods, the, the golden pod implant. Um, I, I, unless they reissue those in another form, in another way, which I don't know if they will or not. Um, I don't know if they actually stated anything on that. But it, if, if they don't reissue them, they instantly become rare because you can't buy them anymore as soon as these um, second decade editions are sold out. So. Then you just wait for like seconds. two years. I thought that was, wait, is it third? No, third. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Jay Z's oh, man, for once. Jay Z's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, boys, oh, go go that. over go over there and work it out amongst yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Internet fight. <laughs> yes. So, <clears throat> have you ever seen like the virtual high five? No. No. Okay, let me uh, let me see if I can find it here. I, I keep meaning to bring it up on the show and and uh, see if I can find it. <laughs> what is the staging system of Roadhouse on <laughs> Goldie Fox versus Jenny. Oh, it won't let me switch. <laughs> let me switch. Darn it. It's not letting me do that. Okay. Exclamation mark rigged. <laughs> Here, I'll just have to set it up on. On here, add media file. Marky, what's the point of one of those circular things that hang over top of the front of the mic? You know what I'm talking about? Some people call them spit catchers. Oh, it's to stop like this from like the thing. From ah, ah, yes, nice. unless, you're, unless you're beatboxing. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, it's uh, uh, they call it a pop filter. Okay. I was thinking if that's necessary or not. Mm, Probably yes. Maybe it, de not. it depends on whether or not you spit while you talk. Well, hopefully so, that's not happening. <laughs> okay. Check out the stream. And uh, everybody, hands up. Hands up to the to the monitor. Internet, high doing? five. Look at the stream. What? <laughs> yep. Are so, you going to put something on screen or something? Yeah, I did. It's down okay. now. But, I mean, it's it's up right now. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, I thought you were trying to hide something <laughs> under the hand. <laughs> oh, man. Now I got That's an internet high on. five. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I saw that and I'm like, oh, I'm using that. So I oh saved. Oh, go, go ahead. Go ahead. I should have interrupted. <laughs> go ahead. No, speaking you first. Of, speaking of survival games, I think I just tried out like one of my like most favorite survival games in a long time. Um, the Haunted Primal, that like dinosaur one or whatever. I was just creeping around in this in this small bush and this t huge T-Rex just comes up like storming behind you and just chomps your head off. Well, that part wasn't too much fun, but <laughs> the game itself is just amazing. Mm -hmm. At least I think. Primal? Yeah, Primal. I think it's early alpha right now, though. Yeah. Um... What was the other one? I did I did on stream the other day. I don't know if you guys caught it, uh, and I did put up a video on the Marky Dragon gameplay channel of uh, Rise of the Badlands. Oh, which, oh yeah, I saw that. Which um, I think uh, could be quite interesting. Um, I've been talking with some of the devs, and um, I um, I think that it has a lot of potential. So it's uh, friends and family alpha right now. They were just doing some stress testing. I don't even know if the servers are up right now. Um, I think it has potential to be a lot of fun. So I really think the freaking Authorus needs to be nerfed. I should be flying one then, huh? Yeah, I should, but they're expensive. <laughs> How much was that ship you lost the other day? Because we, oh, like, you, we heard you uh, whimpering as you left. 300 mil? Oh, okay. oh my god! Not too bad. Was that with all your fittings <laughs> and stuff? Yeah, that's with all the fit. Uh. Yeah. I, I, I went in expecting to lose Welcome it, so. to the dragons. What's the most expensive ship in the game, you think, right now? One of Probably those titans? Probably one of those titan fits. I saw on the kill board you can sort it by expense, and the most expensive kill was like 101 billion or something. Well, it is depends it? on what cargo they're hauling, too. You know, mm -hmm. what they put in their cargo hold. So, mm -hmm. anybody who hauls a hundred billion in their cargo hold of any kind of ship is a dumbass. They just paid the dumb tax. <laughs> so, um, you know, even in my... So, so one of the nice things about the blockade runners is they can't be scanned. Um, and, and, you know, they're cloaky and everything, and they can be very fast. But... Um, some people will pop those just out of spite, just to see if you're carrying something really valuable. Um, and I've, I've had attempts like that happen. I did lose a freighter one time, most expensive ship I ever lost. Um, I lost 5.3 billion. Yeah, I remember so, that. Wasn't that, uh, not too long ago? Yeah, I cried a little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was, um, it was... Uh, really you know, hard. my net worth. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that, that was not a very happy moment for me. And it was right after I interviewed the code guys, and they're like, no, nah, we won't pop oh, anybody I for, for um, you know, if you're not AFK. I was not AFK, and they popped me. You gotta buy the membership. <laughs> right, which I still have not purchased. The easy pass. <laughs> right. <laughs> In my opinion, that makes you a bigger target. And the reason that makes you a bigger target is because other groups who are anti-code, who are out hunting for code members, um, I've heard of some of them popping the uh, ships of people who have paid for those licenses. So, yeah. Did you hear about the new uh, update on that whole Sony hack thing? How they think it's North Korea? 14 left. Yeah. Um, yes, I did hear about that. It's pretty insane, if you yeah. ask me. So, yeah, pretty insane. 
it, it just goes to show, and, and I don't care, you know, I saw that Sony, Sony employees are, are like suing now for, you know, invasion of privacy or whatever for not protecting their data. Um, come on, let me just say, folks, that if a foreign government wants to hack you, there is nothing you can do. <laughs> they apparently they um, Sony did ignore some security exploits which had been pointed out earlier and like didn't fix them. So that's well, why they're annoyed. Security is incredibly complex, and you weigh oh, yeah, security against usability. The higher the security, the higher the complexity. The higher the complexity, the less useful everything is. And um, it's 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 a it's like a triangular triangular formula that if you increase complexity. Uh, or you increase security, you increased complexity and cost. Um, so, um, you know, it um, it's just the way it is. And and I don't I don't fault Sony at all for having some stuff still vulnerable. I mean, there's stuff that's that's grievous or whatever, but um, you know, I, I did I did security for the government. And the servers that we did there, there was some things that we evaluated them and said, the cost to fix this is so enormous that we're not going to we're not going to do it for for the likelihood of it happening. So, um, and when you have a government backing you, and so you have un, you know basically hack whether you're a government hacker or the government has hired you is what they've said that maybe was done um, you can't um, you can't compete with that kind of one with the most money wins wait okay, the fit yes I said I would show the fit sorry I forgot and here is uh, my fit so well I take care of an order here And hopefully nobody comes in and attacks me. I smell tater tots. Oh my god, tater tots! Give me. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder we had we had uh, hamburgers and I let the kids choose whether or not to do tater tots or or fries yesterday, and they wanted tater tots, and so uh, we cooked up a bunch. And super crispy tater tots are the way to go. Yeah. Anyway, I wonder if somebody just reheated some tater tots left over from last night. I like tater tots and uh, jalapeno um, with, with jalapeno ketchup. Hi, this is Sharon, your local Google specialist. Yes, have you got Google Fiber? You're hooking me up for free? Awesome. <laughs> Click. I need Google Fiber now. I think it's only in the U.S. right now, isn't it? Yeah, it's I only really in the U.S. at the moment. Gig. But um, they are writing up plans to put it in London. So, um, you, you know Google's plan on this. Google's Google's plan... Or, or their methodology, their, their thinking on this, is that the more people that have high-speed connections to the Internet, the more people do commerce over the Internet, the more money Google makes off of each one of those people that has better connection to the Internet. That's a good way to think about it. It's, 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 it's a very long-term <clears throat> um, humanity type of look at it. And... Um, and so they offer this stuff just super cheap. And, and it's because they know that more ads will be viewed, more searches will be done, more purchases will be made. And, um, and so they, they make their money on the back end, on the secondary of it. It's, uh, it's, it is very interesting. Um, there's, a, there's a book about, um, there's a book called What Would Google Do? And... Um, the the guy who um, wrote the book, um, Professor, what is his name? Um, 
I don't, I don't recall his name, but um, he's um, he's on this show called This Week in Google, which is really excellent. Um, Jeff Jarvis, and uh, um, he goes over the whole thing in there about how Google um, um, their methodology on on how they make money. So welcome to the dragons. It's pretty cool. In the EU at the moment, there's plans to try and uh, break Google apart because they say that it's too big. Yeah, I, wasn't that like that project, like uh, well, whatever they found in some of those Sony leaked emails? All well, the, like the big corporations were trying to like, take is, Google down. The problem is there's laws against monopolies and stuff, mm -hmm. uh, and th and that's good because it prevents kind of predatory business tactics, you know, buying everyone else out so that you can dominate it. But the problem is, Google didn't do that. They oh, hang on, let me just take a screenshot of this. Because something really awesome is happening on his desktop at the moment. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> just saying. By the way, uh, okay, while you're taking your screenshot, I gotta do this. I gotta draw on the ticket raffle. Doing the right one, folks. <laughs> so this is for the Minimitar Bounty Hunter Starter Pack. Uh, so all the entries are closed. 42 people got in and bought multiple tickets and I'm on the ticket raffle and I'm drawing the winner and it is Mike DK100 who is not a follower, but you use to, you earn scales anyway, even while you are here. Um, and so, you know, thumbs down that you're not a thought follower, but thumbs up for winning. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I hope to be hollering out your name, saying thanks for the follow. Um, anyway, so congratulations, Mike. And uh, I will uh, write up a mail to you um, right now, and I'll bark out when it's sent. Like after I kill this rat. And by the way, uh, what is there, 14 left on the... The, um, let's see here. Yeah, 14 left on the second decade packs. When they're gone, they're gone. They're 50 bucks each on the store right now. The music I'm playing is from the soundtrack of it. Uh, I'll get the stream muted. Oh, yeah, Hockey. well. Look at, yeah. look at the link I'm just posting. That's why Google did so well. Not because of their, not because they had predatory business tactics. I don't understand. What am I looking at? The screenshot I just posted. I know, I'm looking at the screenshot. What am I looking like, at on the screenshot? Google yeah. does what you want it to. Yahoo just throws ads and everything else at you, and it's messy and horrible. Oh, yeah. I mean, Google I is awesome. Google is for the people, and they make money on secondary. Other companies are, you know, for the business and secondary for the people. I see what you're saying, Goldie. Like, all this, it just looks like kind of jumbled. Yeah. I don't That's know how been, I feel about Yahoo. It's been one of the brilliant things about Google all along. So. Someone took a drone into Apple's, like, or flew a drone over Apple's, like, new base or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it was probably, like, the coolest video I'd seen in a while. Layer of evil. Uh, <laughs> it was just this giant ring in the ground. And, um,. I don't know, he's just flying this drone all in their fenced area and stuff. I'm sure that wasn't too legal. Um, how far above your property do you own? Ooh, that's a good I that's a good call. I know you yeah. own like to your property line, and if you have if you don't have a fence, then people can walk onto your property, no problem. People can take pictures from outside of the property line. Um Mike D, that is sent to you. Check your Twitch mail. Uh, and we're going to do another one. I've tried poking him in chat. I don't know if he's uh, alive or awake right now. <laughs> That's okay. He spent his scales. He doesn't have to be here to collect. So, um, okay. Let's see here. So, we're going um, to we're gonna do this one again. Here we go. Another Minimitar Bounty Hunter starter pack. Drum and roll. Yeah, and so um, 
you can get tickets. We're going to do these about one an hour all day. So if you missed the last one, you can try again here. Each ticket is 10 scales. So you can do up to 100 tickets, but that's 1,000 scales. And I don't know if you really want to spend that much, <laughs> but, you know, whatever it's worth to you. Any more uh, multi-twitches coming up? Um, <clears throat> so I'm, I'm working on some stuff for EVE. Uh, in fact, if you are a uh, EVE streamer and you happen to be watching the show, please contact me. I've got something for you. Ooh. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I know. Hmm. <laughs> um, Welcome to so the Dragons. I am, I am working on a project that involves other EVE streamers. Um, probably won't uh, hear anything about it on the show or anything though for a couple of months. Welcome to the dragons. So it's not an easy thing to put together that I'm doing, so. Um, Those Jet. Take yeah, let me, let me holler these out. Uh, Mark Jet, guns on my plums. <laughs> Bertha, uh, ACY, uh, snoo snap boogies. And Malvik, thank you for following. Welcome. You know we're gonna have to we're gonna have to um, you know we should put together like this paragraph of text that talks about all these different people and hauls them out by name, and then <laughs> when we get like and there's like ten people in there, and then when we get ten in a row, I insert the name on each one of them as I read it off, welcoming them. And, you know, the one who gets the pie in the face wins or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Could be fun. Could be fun to make fun of everyone. If you don't mind being made fun of. There are some people who get very, very insulted when you make fun of them. It's all good fun. Yes. So. But yeah, those uh, those drunken rooms take quite a while to plan or coordinate, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Thirteen left, by the way. Thirteen. <laughs> um, Make sure you've got one in reserve for this thing. Yeah. Um, if we if we sell out before the end of the show today, if we sell the last thirteen, I'll hand everybody a hundred scales. How does <sighs> that sound? Everybody that's on the, that that's currently on the show, when we sell the last one, we will celebrate. And um, I won't be able to call out who it is because we have like customer confidentiality and stuff. So I can't like say, so and so just bought it. And then, then their mom's watching and go, what? <laughs> you know, I'm just kidding. Uh, or their wife, what? <laughs> yeah. You can say I bought the last one. <laughs> and, um, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll give that person a holler anonymously and everybody will get 100 scales. So it'll be fun. And then we'll all blow them on store. a bank heist or something. Case <laughs> store. Buy 13 collector's editions. <laughs> hey, you know, if you want. <laughs> I need so. all the USB hubs. Oh my we'll God, have a the wall. Can we just make <laughs> a, a golden... Can we have like a golden pod fleet or something? Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> we, could, we could be um, cult of the golden pod. Yes. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> division. So, um, yeah, anyway, the, the Drunken Roams, Roland is, and I actually talked about the Drunken Roams last night, and um, we were talking about that maybe we're just going to throw some roams together, not be quite as formal, we're just going to have a good time, and... Um, you know, part of the part of the thing with people doing, uh, you know, fleet commander and everything of these roams, is that you get picked apart on your skills or your perceived skills, and so they, you know, people look at. Um, just got another forty-three thousand seven hundred and fifty. Thank you. Um, <laughs> they they. They look at your perceived skills on the cohesiveness of the group and how well you command everybody and how many people die and everything, and um, and we notice that that it can welcome affect to the dragons your reputation good or not, and um, and and the fact is is that there are people who like to lead fleets, 
that are not bad at it, but they're not spectacular either. And they go out and they have fun. And, and it's a good job and everything, and because it, it's not about being perfect, especially when you're drinking, and um, and just have a good time. But but we notice that those people are sometimes catching a lot of flack, and uh, so it's kind of a quandary. And you know, uh, I even talked about okay, well maybe I should take the heat and lead it, but I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Um, and it'll certainly show. And when I'm drinking, it'll really show. Um, especially when I'm like, ah, fuck it, I don't care. I'm warping us all into our death. <laughs> you know, whatever. Seats get better at it. I would get better at it. And I have been doing some fleet stuff with Faction Warfare. And, um, and my Marky Dragon character, I actually have been training up some leadership stuff. Um, but, you know, it's... Um, I don't know. I don't know. So, so I think we're gonna do some more drunken roams. That they'll be kind of informal. Oh, nice! Dragons Ooh. love gold treasure, and of course, dollar bills. All right. So, uh, T. S. Dean, thank you for um, for the donation. Five bucks. Here's to an eggnog missile wish. <laughs> Get the egg all over the noggins. Okay. <laughs> um, hmm. You know what? I have a chilled bottle of egg. Welcome to the dragons. Uh -oh. In the refrigerator right now. <laughs> hmm. Makes me think. Oh, well, yeah. I can't. I can't be drinking while I'm uh, watching the store. So, even though you it sounds like a lot of fun. A can of soda emote maybe. <laughs> just like a can of soda that just says pop. Talk to Pepper one. <laughs> right. Um, well, uh, so we could make one for Doctor Dragon Pepper. That would be key. Yeah. Or Dr. Dragon. Or, or just call it Dragon Pepper. Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> yeah. Just Dragon Pepper. Um, and, and, you know, make it look like a Dr. Pepper can. Um, that would be fun. I still have one emote spot left. So. How many do you have, like, after those two ones I sent? If they get approved. Just, just, just one more that's open um, and I can look here at um, let, me, let me see what I can see here they, they give us goals which is fine I, I'm down for that um, they give us goals and I can never remember where this damn thing is at <sighs> yeah okay well I don't know Customer. Masca, how's it going, brother? Yeah, I haven't talked to you in a bit, buddy. Your microphone is not working. Yeah, you might have to um, check Let's out those that. settings. Does that work better? Yep. yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There we go. Somehow it got muted. I don't know how, but whatever. But hi. <laughs> hi. I'm back, Marky. <laughs> hey, dude. How's it going? Yeah, it's going pretty good, actually. Life's going pretty well. I've been doing some streaming over at Hitbox. I'm going to throw that out there. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Because my, because I have such a crappy CPU right at the moment, I can't stream on Twitch very well. keeps freezing up on me. So, But I stream. I can stream pretty solidly over at Hitbox, so I've been doing it over there. So what is Hitbox? Just another uh, streaming it's another, it's another. Yeah, it's another Twitch, except it's not... It's, it hasn't been around as long as Twitch has been around. It's only been around for about a year and a little bit. But um, the one thing that people are really liking about Hitbox compared to Twitch is there's 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 a what is it a 30 or 40 second delay at Twitch. You may get a 10 to 12 delay at Hitbox. Yeah. So it does it does have its pluses. Um, it's yes. a different it's a different platform. And everything yes. so and and i'm not trying to promote it or anything in your channel i'm just somebody asked so I'm oh i'd never even heard about it doing yeah. that it's good to know what's out there but yeah i'm definitely digging twitch pretty hard yeah i mean twitch is good it, i mean twitch has got it's really good points compared to, to hitbox uh it, the delay is probably the biggest issue that people have 
Yeah, well, they they fixed they fixed a lot of the delay because it was up to like a minute and a half or so. Welcome to the dragons. And that was that was pretty horrible, um, and and it really killed a lot of chat stuff. Um, but um, they've they brought it back down to about forty five seconds. Yeah, that's not bad then. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, and another another friend of mine, uh, a Pandico, is on uh, Hitbox as well. Yeah, I was part of his network. That's mm -hmm. how I got started on Hitbox, but him and I had a pretty big falling out, so I'm no longer on his network. Oh, well, that's... Sorry to hear that. Oh, this is... I don't want to get into it. Yeah, no, no, no. no. I, don't I need to. to you privately. I'll, I, I talk to you privately about it, but I'm not going uh, to... I don't need to I don't need to know it. I know that I know that um, a Pandico is a polar guy, and a lot of people get along with him really well, and some don't. And and that's why some people like him and some don't. Just simple as that. That's, that's just like I have haters. People don't like me. True. Or or don't like my opinions cool. or whatever. Yeah. Do you still have the biggest bounty on Eve under your name? I do. Name? I do. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yep. So. Well, I, I'm on Eve. I'm at the beginning hates. to do all those, all the, um, the, um, um, introduction stuff but i've done it all before because i played for two weeks so but the only way to get it to get a ship and everything to start with is to do the introduction stuff so i guess i'm gonna do it all over again oh you know you can you can bypass all if you've played eve before you can bypass all the tutorials right but but it'll give you know you'll miss out on the free couple of ships so, right, and that's what I'm saying. I want the free couple of ships, so I got to do yeah. the tutorials all over again until I get the free couple of ships, and then I don't care about it from there. You now, sir, I got a pretty good rock. Idea what I like to do on here, anyways. I'm not so sure I'm into the whole fighting aspect of it, but um, I did like going out and getting the ores and stuff like that. I just never figured out what really to do with them, so I'm hoping through you and everybody that comes to, to your channel to watch Eve, I can learn more about what to do. And maybe I will get into the fighting, I don't know. We proved a couple of weeks ago Welcome that with to a the zero, dragons. Day, zero day character, you can make about 35 million isk an hour. Um, so, wow. um, in faction warfare. So you can make some money. Okay. So. Um, so how do I get involved in the faction warfare then? I know you've got that. Oh, cool. Doc is hosting you. Uh, oh. I know you've got that. Yeah. Um, uh, um, Road Dogs, I think it's called. Part of the faction. Uh, isn't yeah, it? Road Hogs. Yeah, we've got a couple of yeah, we got a couple of, of faction warfare guys going on things going on here. Okay, so if you, I guess if you want to invite me one of those, and then we can kind of go from there after I get my couple of ships, just so I got something to play with. Yeah, well, you need to get up and running first and everything. And is it on a trial account or is it a full account? Uh, I did 14 days. Or a month, I mean, sorry. So it's it's a regular account? Yeah, it's a regular account. Okay, yeah. So we can get you into Air Hogs. You just join the Air Hogs channel um, in-game, and uh, and they can get you, get you set up and get you into whichever faction side you want and uh which we're on the uh amar kaldari side right now so we're focusing most of our attention that's where most of the money is yeah so, Gal galanti side somebody told me to jo join galanti uh well only if you want less money galanti. i mean if you want to go galanti you can but it'd be less money okay the which is in amar can can I change factions? Can I change to something else? You can't. You can't change. You can't. Welcome cha to the dragons. Well, yes and no. You can change Galante and Minmatar back and forth that way, but but you wouldn't be able to go Galante to Kaldari or Amar. I think what he means. You don't have to change the race of your like your tune right now. No no no. Your 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 tune doesn't matter. What race it is. Okay, because I get to, I did Galante for both. That's fine. That's fine. That doesn't matter. There's no bearing on that. It's just which side you're fighting okay. for that matters. Okay. So walk me through how to get set up to be fighting on the side that's going to make more money than this side. Join Airhog's channel, and and they'll get you in. I can get you set up now, actually. Uh, how do you join? How do I join Airhog's channel? 
click on the channels icon at the top left and type in air hogs. Looks like maybe I have an issue on the store. Uh -oh. Air hogs is, would be A I R H O G, right? Yep, with an S. <laughs> it's it's H E I R hogs. No, A stop hogs. it. <laughs> we just put kidding. really redneck spelling in the channels just to see what happens. What'll happen is you'll have a lower success rate on people joining. <laughs> Just saying. I'm getting so many applications at the moment. And the worst thing is, because of the time zone, by the time Rollers has logged off and then me or Rezalon have logged on, there's always a massive pile to sort through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy how many uh, people we've had uh, uh, joining. So, um, But we're, we're, we're really growing. So... And, uh, and we're not just a, a corp, we're a collective, so each person can be within their own corp. Um, it, uh, um, but we all work together. So. Oh, oh, hi, yeah, I've been working. I bought a bowhead for the minimum. Oh. Let's see if I can resell it pretty quickly, and if I can, it'll be worth about 600 mil. Wow. Resell. Cool. So I am doing Faction Warfare. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Um, so uh, I've completed two small sites so far this morning. Welcome to the Dragons. Yesterday and the day before, I used um, a ship very similar to this, just a little bit different fitting, um, to get 683,000 Welcome to the Dragons. Which is a lot. So worth like, uh, you know, one point... Three billion, something like that. Welcome so to the dragons. Man, a whole bunch of people following. So, uh, let's see here. Effects, Archimus. You, sir, rock. Bushix, Darvos, Terionix, GSY Gaming, let's go to you. Thank you for following. Welcome. I'm going to have to start making up some... some funky ass stories about all these followers <laughs> maybe that's what I should do I should just start making up the shit as I go when I when I have a list of them that could be fun that was good Mr. Rage Masketuck, it's like the um like you did with the Air Hogs channel, but with Hogs Collective instead. Welcome to the Dragons. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for four people to follow, and then I'm gonna make up Welcome some crazy to ass the shit dragons. about you guys. We have two there. Um and um, you're going to either love me or hate me when I do this. Just saying. My vote's Welcome to the dragons. I hear three. Okay, we just need one more follow, and then, and then I'm going to, um, um, I'm going to make up some fantastical bullshit about you guys. Welcome to the oh, dragons. There we go. We got it. Okay. So Lord Stain said, "Where did that mark on the couch come from?" Oh, it was from Chubby T. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> 
Welcome to Chubby the Dragons. Chubby T got a little bit too excited and left that mark on the couch. And then Stupid Name for the win said, Oh shit, look at that. It's Polka Dots on the couch. And <laughs> Mr. Rage Quit said, Fuck that. You guys wrecked the fucking couch. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Uh, welcome to the channel, guys. <laughs> and that was the actual names. So, so it was um, it was Lord Stain. Oh, I missed Te Te Tezepic. Yeah. Okay. Maybe my I mentally just went over that. But uh, yeah, it was Lord Stain, Chubby T, Tezepic, uh, stupid name for the win, and Mister Rage Quit. So, okay, we'll do that again when we get another four, another four followers, and I'm gonna make up shit about you guys. How's that sound? Um, but um, <laughs> while I'm while I'm at it here, I'm gonna um, gonna finish this video for YouTube. I don't want them to get too long.